What's up, my geeks? My name's Sean, and you're watching Geek Infinity here on the Gorgs Network. And today is part two of our DIY do it yourself stay at home tips. And today, as promised, we're going to show you how to make hand sanitizer. And again, in today's day and age, it's damn near impossible to find anywhere. But if you can find these items, very simple items, then you can make your own at home. And we're going to show you how to do that right now. So what we have here is some rubbing alcohol. As you can see, we went with 70%. It's the, most, it's the strongest one that we can find right now. Uh, even these are becoming more scarce. Got these at Dollar General. Uh, we have some aloe vera gel. As you can see, I got that at Dollar Tree. And also, you're going to need some of these packs right here. That you get these at Dollar Tree. They're only a dollar for a three-pack. Really cool to use. You're going to need a one-third uh, measuring cup. Another thing, you can get a Dollar Tree. Not just the one-third, but it comes with a whole stack of them. And, you know, some, some people use a spoon to mix it up. Some people use a fork. We're going to use both today. So, I'm going to be doing all of this in real time with the measurements so you can see how fast it actually takes no editing one shot straight shot so first you're gonna start with the aloe vera gel you're gonna pop that bad boy open you're gonna get your one-third right here we're gonna do one-third cup of aloe vera gel it's pretty satisfying to see it so as you can see we have one-third cup aloe vera gel right here and we're gonna drop that in and drop that sucker in there and you want to use your spoon to scoop all of that out because you don't want to waste any of this like every every portion that's why I said we're going to use both I like to use the spoon for scooping and then the fork we're going to use for mixing so we want to make sure you get all this out scrape it all out all right I think we, we got it for the most part. As you can see, the aloe vera gel is in there. Now next up, we're going to go ahead and do two-thirds cups, so which means we're going to do two of these, of rubbing alcohol. Now the higher in percentage of rubbing alcohol you go, the stronger it will be. And there's two. Okay. So as you can see, we did two thirds of rubbing alcohol. And yeah, I could smell it directly. And I even have my cat over here. She's over here being really uh, into it. Hi, Lily. <laughs> so now we're just gonna do, do a light mixing. You know, you don't wanna, cut, you, you just kinda wanna whip it up like it's eggs. You know, you make some scrambled eggs. We've all been through that, especially if you can find eggs these days. And some people, they like to use, um, essential oils and uh, stuff for fragrance like chamomile or lavender or any kind of different smells but as you can see it, it starts to make like a jello like a gelatin looking uh, substance here so we're just going to mix that up a little bit and again we're doing all this in real time so that way you could see just how quick it actually is okay so you want to break it down a little bit. Give it a couple once-overs. Now the tricky part is getting it into the bottle. Now a lot of times you could use like a uh, you could use a measuring cup or something along those lines. We'll probably use the one-third cup that we have right here. You know, just to save time. Again, don't forget your bottles. Doing all of this in real time because that's the best way to do it. You open up your little trusty doodad here. They just like making eggs, just like just like make some scrambled eggs. And we're gonna we're just gonna take some here. We're gonna pour it in because you don't want to waste this. You definitely don't want it to go to waste. These supplies can be hard to find sometimes, so you know, be smart about it, be resourceful, and don't waste what you have. Do it over your glass cup. I recommend glass, which is also something that you can find at, at a Dollar Tree. 
just get like a little bowl, a little mixing bowl, something where you can actually hold some product. Now at this point is when you would actually put in your essential oil for smell, but you want to shake it up. There. We're going to shake it up, shake it up, and there, now, you have your trusty, as you can see, the, bu the bubbles and everything going on in there. You have hand sanitizer now. And with this one uh, mixture, we should be able to fill up three of these. So we're going to see how many we can actually fill up. Now, again, hold it over the container. We, might, we may only be able to get two, maybe two and a half out of these. We'll see. But at, the, at this point is when you would add in your oils uh, for scent and all that stuff. Okay, this one looks pretty good. All in real time for you. No editing here. No, no messing up and do, redoing it and all that stuff here. Right here, we do it all straight up. And I'm showing you how to do it. And you know, afterwards, you just want to let it sit like how our other one is sitting right now. So I'll let it sit. You want to give it a good shake up just so everything kind of settles with each other. See, and that's number two. And now we're making our way over to our third and final one because we are doing three today. I'm gonna put that right there. And my cat over here messing with everything, contaminating, just kidding. Not contaminating, but just kind of being a brat. And we're gonna we're gonna scrape up and scoop up all that we can right here. It won't be enough to fill up a whole other one, but hey, still pretty cool. Alright, so we're gonna try to do this. Probably not a good idea, probably not a good idea. Yeah, probably not a good idea. <laughs> Let's just try it with the spoon, I guess. Again, you, you could get a lot more, but we're you know, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. It's kind of making its way in there. So, like I said, you're going to get about two and a half out of this. And I'm sorry for the camera moving. My cat is messing with it. All right. So, yeah, we got about two and a half out of that. Almost. But <laughs> not really. Maybe, maybe two. Two good solid ones. But, hey. That's still two more than I had before. All I did was used about half of this little one. If you can find a bigger one, great. Barely used any rubbing alcohol, so we still have a lot of that. So it, it's all it's all good. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to let you all know you can find all this stuff at Dollar General. You can find all this stuff at Dollar Tree. You just got to be aware, look around, and see what you can find. And when you do actually start using it, here, we'll use it from this one. Uh, we'll use it from this one. You just need a couple drops. A couple little drops. Boom, boom. Goes a long way. See? And that's it. That's it. Now, your hands are smooth. They're clean. And, you know, they don't smell too bad. But, if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments if you want to see any more diy videos leave them in the comments if this helped you at all please leave a like and don't forget to share this video so other people can see it as well if you really enjoy our content don't forget to subscribe and smash the bell notification to stay up to date with all things geek infinity media so for geek infinity media my name is sean and i'll see you in another universe